Hey, babe. How is it getting over here? Oh, yeah. By the way, wife's new job. She's Miss Fancy. She gets to carry pew 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 pew. I got two right here. Wow. Oh, but, oh you, you got dirt on your finger? I'll be honest, buddy. I'm, I'm hoping that was dirt. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs have been around here. <laughs> Hey, babe, can I use the makeshift uh, bridge real quick that we just made? Uh, uh. Dude, dude. Oh, gosh, that was shady. Hey, hey. Dalton, please stay over there, buddy. Hey, hey. Oh, there we go. All right, I guess we can start this video now on uh, this cluster of our whole property. Oh, my goodness gracious. Woo! All righty, so let's get started here. So, here is the yeah, good old field bed for a septic system here. A whole lot more involved than I expected. So, this is a three-bedroom, two-bath, right? Takes 370 feet worth of this. Which literally tore up like a... It's not a half acre, but I mean, it's a lot, a lot of square footage that I did not expect. But... We've got it all uncovered right now because we're going to come inspect it tomorrow. But this morning, all this was all covered up. We, the dogs were running around and everything. So you got all these lines through here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my goodness. And all the way through here. So here is something to expect a little bit later on in your project. Which luckily, I'll show you everything that I can show you about where we're sitting at right now with all this. <laughs> God, that looks rough. <whistles> Makes me wonder how people put pools in their backyard. Because most of the time, they put this stuff in the backyard a lot of the time. But luckily, uh, that trench over there is actually for the underground electric where I just threw the four-wheeler ramps over just to be able to walk over easily. We can make our way around it, but literally have to go all the way down there or way down there to be able to walk around it. So it's a little minor inconvenience, but it's only for a day or two. So I think we can make that work. So I know it's been, what, seven, eight days since my last upload on all the conditions of the house and where we're sitting, but we have our septic in, pipes ran, all that stuff. That took a couple days. Then there is a delay or two on our part of getting a few little things here and there. So we can't blame them for that. So let's say this is about five to six days later from the last upload. We have all the trim out done. Our French drain. They went ahead and put as much dirt as they could across the front until I built a retaining wall down there to where we can make it a little bit taller. Sealed all the block and everything. And, oh, just FYI, we will have an update for that next week. Coming around to the back, all this is now nice and done. Even all the trim down here from where it was missing because of where the crane's straps come through or cables. So looking good, looking good. And just being that I'm not allowed in this house yet due to OSHA regulations yet. I can't quite show you the inside. I can show you some pictures that I found from a house later on that'll be at the end of the video along with our daughter's state competition for gymnastics. I'm not making a whole video of that. Just going to put it at the end of this. It will be muted because I've got to figure out the whole YouTube and copyright infringement and all that stuff because that's why the gymnastic videos have not been that great. But you see here, there's for the underground electric. Had to be three feet deep. They just left a couple minutes ago. Luckily, there's a bridge right there. Yep. Uh-huh. So, this site is now done also. The whole trim out for the exterior of this place is fully done now. That's done everything. Uh, the porch builders will be here this weekend. They said they will knock it out as a one weekend job. So porches and the deck on the back will be fully done this week. And some like, I think kind of messed this up. It's a little bit of a headache to try to get it to move around. 
but still some things here to do the underneath is a whole lot more spacious than you would think so much room for activities it's like i'm back to uh Step Brothers over here. <laughs> and just guesstimating, should be able to walk. If you look at it real nice and close, should be able to walk. I'm five foot ten. I think I can make it about halfway down there without crouching at all. Then there you see a septic line that they'll have to drill tomorrow and come back for that. Go ahead and fix this little guy back up. There we go. Alrighty, so got that, the deck, the porch. Uh, something that is nice about this specific house, not all of them come with it, I don't think, but it's hard to see, but it, see the little right there? Yep, already comes with full blinds and everything. Gotta get the gutter guys out here. And, well, here, here's you a closer view of how this works out real quick, right before I jump to that. I never realized how much was involved in putting a field bed for a septic system. Never realized it. It's a little more involved than what you would typically think. Uh, this is one thing I've never done in construction. I've done a lot of this stuff back in my younger days. No expert by any means. But anyways, so something we are still missing. We will have a wood burning fireplace on the inside in the den. And there is no chimney up there yet, but where we've been dealing so much with this underground electric, that has kind of went to the wayside for right now. So we have to figure out why the people that set up the house didn't put in the chimney because that's actually part of their job. Uh, that should have already been done, handled, looking good, but something we're kind of waiting on. It sucks. But so you can see everything is done out here. The things left inside the house. Uh, from my understanding, talking to the guys working on it, all the cracks and everything from the moving, it's all been done. They've already done their mud job, the sheetrock work and all that stuff. They just need to sand it down. Or, well, sorry. They've already done all the putty and all that stuff, mud. Uh, they just need to sand it down, paint it inside there, and put in some of the joining pieces, like the floor where they actually meet one half to the other half and up in the ceiling joining one half to the other half other than that i'm pretty sure that and plumbing is all that's left inside that should be all that's left inside so porches or porch on the front a 20 by 10 on the front which i'll explain that stuff once that is done because whew, being nice and good to your contractors really helps out and i'll explain how we saved a lot of money right there because we saved about seven eight thousand dollars on that alone just being a good person to the contractor that's gonna do it um then a six by eight on the rear which will turn into a massive deck on the rear we'll get into that later has to involve a pool and all this other stuff and my wife using me as free labor <laughs> um so that uh, yep that that's that, that, that kind of covers all that so we're gonna just jump over here real quick and today is the 28th. So just to give an update on this little guy right here. I, I know she doesn't look too pretty right now. I have covered everything that needed to be covered for the weather and all that for right now. Got the engine covered the way it needs to be covered inside the body there. But we will have a whole lot more updates after the first week of April on this guy. Got a lot of things in the works, so we'll see what happens with that. But as of right now, that will conclude this video right here. Man, so this could be a tall six by. Oh, somebody left their hard hat. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, I wonder if it fits. Ah, just kidding. So uh, I'll just leave that for somebody. I don't know how long it's been there. I've, I've not been here to look at all this. So, oh, front porch will be a uh, open gable concept. So that's part of what saves some money. But six by eight right here with the staircase going down. But I will probably end up building that porch to the end of that second window right here. All the way to probably the beginning of this window here. All the way out to probably about where I am at. But I hope you enjoyed the new updates on the house. I'm sorry 
I tried to get to it a little bit quicker, but we've had some rough weather here to where these guys can come out during the rough weather. And the trim out guys did not show up today for the inside. Truly, I think the inside should could have been finished today. Could have been finished today, but they didn't show up today. Don't know why. I'm sure they have their reasons. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Something by for the first time, please subscribe. Y'all have a great day.